How you doing guys? Uh, this is ESC and I'm trying to make a video about the uh, low water cutoff on a steam boiler here. Well, uh, we woke up this morning, no heat. And uh, we tried to figure out what the problem was. And uh, we found out that the problem was the low water cutoff here. It was preventing the burner from starting by cutting off power. So I figured I'm making this video and explain a little bit the, the, the role of this low water cutoff. This is a manual low water cutoff. What it does is it controls a safe water level in your boiler, in your steam boiler. This is a Smith cast iron boiler. So inside this low water cutoff, there's a float switch extends about five, six inches. When the safe water level here drops, the float switch, which is inside here, which is usually on a, on a level like this, also drops, which cuts, cuts the power, cuts the power to your burner. Then the burner doesn't start. There could be so many problems uh, why, as to why the float switch doesn't work, so many scenarios. But in this case, the float switch had a crack in it and it was inundated with water and failed to rise uh, to cut power and uh, maintain a safe water level in your boiler. So I have a, a float switch here. So this is what it looks like. This is the the low water level, uh, the low water cutoff, and this is your float switch. It pretty much looks like some weird penis here. This is the float switch. When the low, when the water goes down, the float switch naturally drops. Now it's it's a drop right. It has this spring. So when the water gets back to normal. The normal uh, water line here, normal water level, the float switch rises, hence gives power to the burner and the burner starts. So if you have a problem with your boiler, it probably could be this uh, low water cutoff or a faulty float switch. In this case, what you do is you open a few of the screws here. I mean, uh, if you can get a professional to do it, but you can DIY this project if you have enough experience. Uh, you could open the back of this thing here, take out your float switch and replace it with a new one. Usually cost about 150 bucks to 100 to 130 dollars. But to maintain uh, a nice low water cutoff, one should at least once a week opens this manual switch here and clean out the boiler. I just did clean it up and you see all this crappy water here. It's very dirty because the, the low water cutoff here, uh, the water stays still for a while and kind of collects dirt and rust and all sort of stuff. So it's, it's a good idea to just clean it up once in, every once in a while and uh, you know, and let the, let it kind of rinse out so you don't have as much of a collection of rust and stuff. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. This is Yasin, and I hope you found this information useful. And I'll see you uh, on the next project. And this is my tip of the day. From one dumb to another, have a great day.